Is the next pandemic on its way? A highly contagious respiratory infection has put several countries on alert. Many countries, including China, are reporting deaths from this infection. We are talking about the whooping cough. Could it be the next pandemic? In the first two months of 2024, China reported 13 whooping cough deaths. The number of cases currently standing at 32,380. Now, if you compare it to last year, the number indicates a 23-time jump. 23. In fact, the total number of whooping cough cases recorded so far this year is close to the total number reported all of last year. Parents in China have been asked to get their children vaccinated against pertussis or whooping cough as soon as possible. Just look at what's happening in the Philippines. Earlier this week, the country said its whooping cough cases are 34 times higher than last year. 34 times higher. The Philippines has already recorded 54 whooping cough deaths between January and March this year. And of them, 49 were young children. Deaths have also been reported in the Czech Republic. In fact, the country is suffering its biggest outbreak since 1963 with over 3,000 cases reported so far. People are also dying of whooping cough in the Netherlands. Four infants have died in February and March. As per the Dutch National Institute for Public Health, cases are running between 200 and 300 a week. The UK and the US have also reported outbreaks. The UK reported 555 cases in January. In January, the number nearly doubled to 913. That graph is pointing upwards and at a rise. Croatia is being widely considered as the hotspot in Europe, with the country recording over 6,200 cases in the first two and a half months of 2024. In Australia, nearly 2,800 cases have been reported so far this year. So what do we know about whooping cough? One, it is a respiratory disease. Two, it is highly contagious. This disease is also called pertussis, like I pointed out earlier. You know why? That's because the infection is caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. Let's talk about the symptoms of whooping cough. Initially, the symptoms are similar to that of a flu or a cold. You know, a runny nose, sneezing, fever, mild cough. But it does not stop at that. Within a week, the cough gets worse. The coughing also becomes more frequent. Between the bouts of coughing, you may find the patient gasping for air, producing the whoop noise which also is where the name comes from, whooping cough. This disease is also called the 100-day cough. Sometimes the cough can last for up to 6 to 12 weeks. It gets scarier and deadlier when the cough affects infants and newborns. And that is because whooping cough can lead to pneumonia in babies. It can also cause brain damage. Currently, teenagers have been making up the majority of cases, at least in Europe. But most of the deaths are being recorded in babies. Whooping cough is not new. It goes back to the Victorian era. In fact, the whooping cough would make regular appearances in Charles Dickens novels. Why has it made a return now is the question. Experts are pointing at a drop in vaccination rates. Experts are also concerned that the bacteria causing whooping cough may be becoming immune to the vaccines and the antibiotics. And here's what else is being blamed. COVID-19, the Wuhan virus. The pandemic took a toll on whooping cough vaccination. Many ended up missing their shots. What does this new wave of whooping cough mean for India? You see, the moment there is an outbreak of an infectious disease in one part of the world, the rest of the world automatically becomes vulnerable. And what we have here are multiple outbreaks. Every day there are flights landing from these countries, the UK, the US, Australia, the Philippines. So India needs to have its guard up. Two cases were reported in the end of January. We have not been able to find credible data on what the status of whooping cough in India currently is. But if you or someone you know has symptoms, if your cough has been persisting for a while, please contact your doctor immediately.
to stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.